Okay, good morning everyone, a good day, or whatever time na nakita or nabasa nyo po ito, or na ano nyo po, napanood nyo po ito sa YouTube channel ko, itong ating basic competency on local treasury examination topic. So, uh, pag-usap, by the way, ako nga po pala sa Agustin Dular, and welcome to my vlog. Thank you so much for visiting. Pag-usapan natin ngayon ay ang topic related to the guidelines on the evaluation and processing of appointment of a local treasurer and a local local treasurer. This is based on the Department of Finance, Department Personal Order Number 477, Version Series of 2019. And I'm telling you this, that majority of the slides that you will be encounter or you will see here, kung magtitake po kayo ng exam this April 24, ay maaari talaga siyang maitanong at mailabas. Okay, so God bless you. Uh, proceed na po tayo sa mga tanungan sa mga details related to the guidance of the evaluation so I'd like to start with this section 470 and 471 of RS 2160 that this is about the mandate that the local treasurer and the local treasurer shall be appointed only by the Secretary of Finance from a list of three ranking eligible recommendations of Sino the governor or your mayor and it is subject to the civil service law rules and regulation again babalikan po natin yung mga yung mga naka-highlight dito sino yung nag-appoint secretary of finance ilan lahat po yung magiging eligible recommendee tatlo sino po at saan manggagaling po yung recommendation letter from the governor or your mayor and No person shall be appointed as a local treasurer unless, o na po, dapat po talaga you are a citizen of the Philippines. Pangalawa, must be a resident of a local government unit of a concerned LGU. And of course, you have a good moral character. A holder of a college degree, probably in commerce, public administration, or law from a recognized college or university. A first grade civil service eligible, yung professional level natin sa CA sa civil service or or its equivalent ano ba tong equivalent na ito this is an example of an equivalent the BCLTE kung magpasaw nyo po ito you are uh, already included as uh, you have this minimum requirement for appointing a local treasurer then dapat din po pag kayo po ay nag-apply for the city or provincial treasurer You should have at least five year experience, basically on a treasury or accounting services. Pag plano niyo naman po sa municipal treasurer, three years. Pag ganon parin po ang serbisyo na may encounter niyo, you are in the office of the treasury or accounting. And the Department of Finance is responsible for the supervision of the revenue operations of all local government unit. Again, pagpag-uusapan po natin yung kabuang uh, local government unit and the revenue operations ang responsible po dito ay ang Department of Finance. Tapos po, si Secretary of Finance hindi lang yung mag, ano lang, hindi lang siya yung uh, person that will appoint a local treasurer, an assistant local treasurer, but also shall issue rules and regulation and other issuances about this uh, EO or executive order number na na-mention po sa baba for its effective implementation tapos of course yung partner niya the Bureau of Local Government Finance are is the one that will exercise the administrative and technical supervision and coordination over the treasury and assessment operations of local government. Gan, ibig sabihin, the major function of a BLGA is to administer and technical support with uh, coordination sa dalawang part, ang treasury at ang assessment. Tapos po, on 2016 of October, nagkaroon po ito ng department order ang uh, tinatawag natin standardized examination and assessment for local treasury service or the cell program. Lahat po 
na gusto mong apply bilang local treasurer or assistant local treasurer ay dadaan sa tatlong proseso for an idea or additional integral criteria in the selection and evaluation of the recommendees o na po dito ang tinatawag nating BCLT that you will take this April 24 ICLTE kung papasan, mapasan nyo po yung BCLTE and the advance kung mapasan nyo po yung dalawang level and there is a reminder that the vacant position of a local treasurer and assistant local treasurer shall be published and posted in accordance with the Public Act number 7041 as amended that for at least 15 calendar days the filling up of vacant position shall be made after 15 calendar days which however should not exceed 9 months from its publication for local treasury appointment the said that notice of vacant shall contain the qualification standard for position provided under numbers 7160 it shall be posted in the three conspic conspicuous places within local government unit and shall be reported to the Civil Service Commission. Next, the recommendation of the local chief executive or your local, uh, your governor or your mayor for the appointment of the province, city, and municipal treasurer and the assistant treasurer position shall be in writing and signed by hand the recommendation of the local chief the local uh, chief executive for appointment for both treasurer and assistant treasurer shall be endorsed by the concerned provincial treasurer to the bureau of local government finance within five working days tapos yeah it is expected that uh, there is a criteria for the evaluation and may mga respective stone scores. Una dito, for the education, you should be college degree, experience must be in treasury or accounting, performance must be at least very satisfactory, relevant trainings, of course, the completion of training, scholarship, and other capacity interventions undertaken within the last five years for the date of DLCE. Then, additional naman po dito sa criteria are your salary grade, the previous designation, the postgraduate degree, bar or professional license, the sales certification, and interview by the Bureau of Local Government Finance. So, ipapakita po natin ngayon ang respective scorings. Baka kasi po, kayo, kayo mismo na mag apply ay pwede na, pwede na ninyong may score yung sarili nyo or ma-rate or ma-evaluate. So, this is the detailed criteria for the evaluation. For the education, it is expected that you are, yung na mentioned po na prepared degree, college degree is 15 points. Pag other degrees naman po are 10. Yung treasury experiences, pag province at cities yung pag applyan mo, 15 years is 20 or more. 10 years, 15, 18, 5 years to 10, 16. And at least 5 is 14. The experience in treasury for municipalities is 10 years or more is 20, 5 years to 10 is 18, 3 years to 5, 16, and at least 3 years is 14. Pag naipasan nyo naman po ang BCLT, especially this year, ay magkakaroon po kayo ng 10 points. Yung pumasa naman po sa mga nakarang exam na ICLTE ay magkakaroon po ng 15 and hindi pa naman po nagkaroon ng advanced com competency for local treasury na 20 points. Yung rating naman po natin, kung outstanding po ay 10, pag very satisfactory naman po is 8. The relevant training, pag, pag kayo po ay apply for province and city, Pag above 120 is 10, maximum of 120 is 8. For municipality, 40 hours is 10, maximum of 40 hours is 8. Above 40 hours is 10. With respect to the grade and salary, sa rank and salary grade, pag SG24 and above 5, SG18 to 23 is 4, SG11 to 17 is 3, SG10 and below is 2. Your previous designation, Pag 
for the previous designation as acting or OIC or in charge of office of your local treasurer acting OIC I see to ayan ganyan assistant local treasurer cumulative but not to exceed 9 points the non local treasurer or non assistant assistant local treasurer pag 3 years or more is 9 2 years to 3 years is 6 pag hindi ko to na ayan 2 years to 3 years is 7 1 year to 2 years is 5 at least 6 months is 3 for regular local treasurer regular assistant local treasurer 2 years or more is 9 1 to 2 years 7 6 months 5 at least 6, 3 months is 3 and last but not the least for additional points cumulative but not to exceed 8 points bar or R1880 pass or professional license holder ay magkakaroon kayo 3 points pag post graduate naman po kayo per degree is 3 points post graduate diploma certificate is 1 collegiate or post graduate honors award is 1 the interview for the BLGA or the executive director is 3 points so the total is 100 points so as I, all, as I said pag nakikita o nababasa nyo na po itong guidance evaluation you can have your ano naman po respective uh Kayo, kahit kayo kayo sa sarili nyo pwede nyo naman po graduhan ang, sa, ang ano nyo based sa mga based sa score na pinakita or rating na pinakita the most important thing is for you to apply and be included for the recommendation ng inyong respective local chief executive so with that pray lang ng pray and apply lang apply and yun be positive Hindi sa COVID, but be positive on your appointment. With that, thank you so much. God bless you.